welcome to part two of this Marshall GTM 30 and uh, it looks like swearing time because we have got to take out this board this PC board that, um, on this front panel so we've got to replace this pot um, I also noticed a couple of more things the longer it was running um, yesterday uh, noticed some frying appearing so uh, though that's now disappeared and uh, also noticed that if we move that reverb pot there's a little bit of something with that as well so just hone in so I don't know whether that's a dry joint on the board or but or whether or not that's that pot's faulty as well so yes we keep finding things on this amp seems like the longer it's running the more things are beginning to turn up um, kind of get the impression this amp's been stood for a long time so let's crack on we'll get this uh, we'll get get out its case and we'll we'll get this board out and see see where we are with it right here's another problem I just thought about is this pot this knob that we couldn't get off before so we're gonna to have to get this knob off somehow and that is not going to be easy oh <laughs> well there you are then we couldn't get out full of the money before and where that's gone now it flying across the room but there we go sorry about that uh, we couldn't get that off full of the money I don't know why that's just that suddenly just fell off now so there we go another one of these smooth shafts again so maybe they maybe they are and it's funny that again it's the smooth shaft ones that are slightly damaged that one appears to be the same and again you can see the axe all cut through there so I've certainly not done those any good being cut to size so anyway well that's uh, got that off so we'll get the nuts off and uh, see if we can get this board out right we've got this board out and uh, there's been some extensive work done on this board look at all this flux that's around on these um, that is going to come like that from the factory on all these soldering terminals as you can see if you look across right in there and also look here so those components there have been added from the bottom uh, from the top side of the board um, so I'm making the camera flick if we turn this over there's a bit of a cable a couple of wires there that's governing what but if we look um, so we just pull back a bit if we look where that pot's been added if you look there you can see those components have been removed and placed on the bottom of the board fortunately this board did come out without having to remove the other one it did it was a bit of a jiggle but we got it out there's two more com capacitors there i don't know whether they're factory or they've been added so let's have a look at our pots that we've got so it's this one here you can see the way these pots have been put in here and where they've got this they've got this like metal plate and you can see they do have nuts on that side which is what threw me when when i was looking at this um and the, the, there's no nuts on the front you know may, maybe maybe they they never wear any nuts on the front although I've, that's not a very good way of doing things and you really do need nuts on the on the chassis as well not just on that plate so these nut these pots are very secure which tells me that you know the, the, this reverb one as well here same type of pot you know is damaged it's it's not a simple case of the pot moving about in the soda terminals they're in solid they're bolted in solid so so we'll get these pots out we'll see if we've got some replacements first of all right, I've got the first one in um, and I've, what I've done I've not soldered it in yet I've just bolted it into that metal plate because I need to make sure because these are considerably shorter look but fortunately these other ones are considerably big bigger than probably they should they need to be so are we uh, let me just put the camera down 
yeah and we can get a knob on there so that's absolutely fine so we've we've we'll uh, we've got to uh, that's uh one meg and uh one meg log and uh, we need to look at what this reverb is now so i've not actually looked at that on the Ten K we don't have one. So we are going to have to order one of those, I'm afraid. So that's gonna hold up this project. Right, we've got this marshal all back together and we've got these pots sorted out. So if we have a look at, at the gain now we're on the gain channel. You can see that works properly now. means now we can have a lower gain on there because before you could only have full gain um, all the way down to here and then it just started to cut out and then of course it wouldn't it wouldn't this um, cut the volume out altogether when it hits the stop when it hits ground on there so that's that and the reverb Done. So that one's sorted. And this amp's pretty good now. It's quiet. And it's good to go, I think. JTM30 um, and we finally tracked down all the, all the faults we've got this amp sorted out um, this will make a great budget tube amp for someone that's a that's a go on that one so thanks for watching it's a bit of a short video this one but thanks for watching and I'll see you all in a future video so you all take care bye bye for now <laughs>